What's going on, everybody? What's going on? What's happening, YouTube? Mid America Truck Show 2016 at the Night Transportation Show. Both. Letting you know to check out the Truck of Rudy Show. If you're not watching Truck of Rudy, you're not watching anything. You ain't watching even us. Change no. the channel. Change it now. Keep Change it, it here. Up. Hey, subscribe. Subscribe. Comment. Comment. Don't forget to Thumbs hit the up. like button. Hit the like. Thumbs up. Thumbs it up. Yeah, oh man. Share it. Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the sun, and uh, it's day three of the truck show. It's just a day three, Saturday. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at a beautiful, beautiful paint job of a, I believe it's a Canworth two, two, a T two thousand. Yep, that's what it is. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful paint job of the military. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Let's take a look in the back here. I think I've seen a truck like this somewhere before. But I'm not 100% sure. But let's go around and look from the other side. See if we can get the full picture of the uh, paint job. Oh wow! On this side they got it in colors. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that's a beautiful paint job. That's for sure. Wow! Man, I would love to drive a truck like that with a beautiful paint job on it. Yeah, look at that from the front. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to be looking at a fine truck. No, you don't ever see very many of these. Let's take a look what it is. A Rolls Royce. I've never seen one before in my entire life. Never seen a Rolls Royce truck. We got to have a look at this bad boy. This has got to be a really old truck too. Look at the ground. Yeah, <laughs> they printed money onto the floor. Oh yeah, I bet probably a few dollars this truck any of us and there are just so many so many beautiful trucks out here you know we can probably not show every single one but we're gonna try and do our best right Diego guys let's have a look at a beautiful paint job on a Kenworth yes as soon as we get a little bit space here let's look at the info that he's given us no that is awesome man Look at the beautiful paint job that this guy did on his truck. That must have cost a few bucks to get a paint job like that. Look at that, even his APU unit. Everything has got a nice, nice, beautiful, beautiful paint job on it. Even on the catwalk over here, you see that? Paint and Body Repair LLC. That's, I guess, who did the paint job on it. Man, this is a flatbed that you have probably never seen before. Wow, that is just amazing how these guys details their trucks. All right, guys and girls, that get us into the real deal, right? Let's look at some some of the finest trucks on the market. What do you think, there, son? I don't know. You don't know? Too or busy looking at good trucks. Too busy looking at some of these beautiful, beautiful trucks. Yeah. That's a beautiful Kenworth, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I would think so too. I think we're going to go right along the side here and then we'll try and uh, get a lot of these beautiful beautiful trucks from the front here and give you guys a beautiful view on all the beautiful things that we're looking at, right? <laughs> yeah, look at this yellow Peterbilt. Peterbilt looks just absolutely gorgeous when you have a yellow color. I don't know any other truck that can look as good as a Peterbilt with a yellow color. What do you say there, son? I don't know. You don't know? What do you know today? Nothing? I wasn't listening. You weren't listening? Okay. Well, I said, I haven't seen any other trucks that look as good as a Peterbilt with a yellow color on it. I don't think any other truck looks good with yellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Uh, yeah. Oops, sorry. Uh, yeah. I don't think Volvo would look really no. good with the uh, with the yellow yeah, yellow Peter color. Yeah. yeah, I think so. But uh, yeah, they got some absolutely gorgeous Peterbilts out here. That is a fact. 
Definitely. Wow. How do you like this color? Do you see that how close it is from the fender? <laughs> they're all low because yeah this is a low rider yeah well, i don't think this is a actual truck that they use for going down the road what do you think i don't know it could be I don't know. could be i don't think be. so because look at the fifth wheel i mean i don't think they'd be using this one for for a road truck but we'll see We'll see, yeah, this one they might be, yeah, this one might be out there on the road somewhere. Wow, I see a very nice orange, orange Peterbilt, I think it is. It looks like a custom truck. So let's go have a look and see what that truck looks like. A lot, a lot of people are taking pictures of this. And uh, we have a similar picture on one of my profiles, I think on the... Uh, Twitter profile I think we got a similar similar uh, looking truck did you see the single light no. see that that is LED in there <laughs> that is absolutely gorgeous this truck is from Nebraska looks like it wow that is gorgeous there's a Kenwood right here you guys see that <laughs> Man, that's just some crazy, crazy looking truck. Oh, wow, look. Look at that, guys. That's a single light right there. He's from Iowa. Yeah. I want to see this lowrider up here. I think we want to go around on the other side because uh, the sun is coming from over there, so I don't want you guys to be blinded from the sun. So we'll try and uh, show you this truck really good. Wow, look at that exhaust, man. That is sweet. Yikes. It looks like this truck has gotten some trophies. Look at that. Yeah, I've gotten some trophies. They must have obviously been a winner of this show. Wow, even the cylinder there for that fifth wheel is uh, stainless steel. Yeah, this, is, this one's low because uh, yeah? it's empty. Oh. Yeah, everything is probably empty, but look at that, guys. It's even got stainless steel. What's that? I'm just reading those. Yeah, let's look at these trophies. Yeah, two, this is a 2007. 2007. Oh, okay, so in 2007, he has won this trophy. That one is 2007. You don't touch that. So that's uh, 2009. This one is 2015? Yeah, I think so. Yes, look at it. Wow, just amazing. Yes, definitely. Now we're going to be looking at a red Peterbilt with a yellow engine. Let's take a look. A cat engine. Yes, indeed. Indeed it is a cat engine. Could have probably done a little bit better on this pipe, but those pipes look look absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well, I guess that pipe would get really hot too. Yeah. Fiberglass. Yeah. Yeah. Man, these are absolutely beautiful, beautiful trucks, man. Yeah. Wow. Look at this frame. That is a beautiful, beautiful paint job. Man, there are so many beautiful trucks out here. We're going to be saying beautiful a lot today. I hope you guys don't mind. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. I can guarantee you these guys have spent a lot of money into these trucks. I can guarantee you that that is 100% for sure. And if you guys haven't seen this, that's OOIDA tractor trailer here. I haven't been inside there, but uh, we did sign up to become an OIDA member. And uh, yeah, I guess they're outside here as well. All right, guys, we're gonna show you a really mini, mini Peterbilt. Look at this. Now that's a Peterbilt. <laughs> and they actually got a motor in it. Yes. Now this is for small people. <laughs> Look at that. They did have it running earlier. Can you see the motor in the back? No? Yeah, you can. That's a camera. Yeah, but it's... 
all right guys that's show you guys this little uh little peterbilt it's got a little motor in there and uh yes they uh somebody built a little bit of a peterbilt car that's really cool eh all right guys we are looking at a classic freightliner pure michigan that's a this guy is from michigan that's for sure yeah didn't even know they made a freightliner like this it's got a comments in it yeah how are you i'm very good thanks i'm trucker rudy is this your truck no it's my friend's truck right oh, here and their dad okay. right there all right yeah you guys can uh check us out later if you guys want okay yeah can you tell me a little bit about this truck or would he be better he'd be better he'd be better I know a little bit about but let them have the glory yeah he got fifth place he got fifth place yeah, got oh fifth place. congratulations guys thank you Cheers. yeah could you tell me a little bit about your truck? Actually, <laughs> my brother did a lot of the fabricating. I don't know okay. where he went, but I would have him tell you while I eat my lunch. He's gone? He's here somewhere. Yeah? You know where okay. Chris went? I think he'd be right back. So you guys got fifth place this year? Yeah. Nice. That's very nice. You know who got number one? Uh. <laughs> yeah, right up there in the corner. The okay. Purple. Is that purple a... Peter? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Please, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's look at another Peter build up here. Yeah. This guy is from Missouri. Yeah. We were uh, recording earlier a little bit, and I went back to the truck. We got us our jackets. Right. We were getting cold, and uh, I was looking at. Uh, at the footage a little bit this is a 379 x peterbilt and uh, i realized that i was walking way too fast to be recording on these things and turning way too fast and that stuff so we decided well we'll go get our jacket and downloaded all the video footage i might use some of that but maybe not all of that and uh, decided we are going to try and improve on the camera and uh, not turn it as fast and uh, walk a lot slower so that way you guys can actually see what we're looking at and uh, get to enjoy what we are what we're looking at what kind of truck is this Deva, can you read that name diamond 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 what diamond diamond rio <laughs> wow i've never seen a truck like this have you no. wow we're I've, seeing... I've heard of diamond before but not yeah diamond yeah that's right look at this intake over here dude wow Whoa. that looks cool look at this fuel cap that's a weird fuel cap yeah these are sort of like these sort of look like uh the kind of air takens they uh used on uh, race cars and race stuff. cars in the 1900s yeah because because back in the uh, more air, more air you got in the engine the faster you can go so. wow that is beautiful at that stainless steel look at that <laughs> wow man these guys are working so hard on these beautiful trucks wouldn't you say yeah. that that's some hard labor that these guys put into uh into these trucks I wouldn't have the time or the money to do it. I got to work to make money. So for those of you that don't know, that was told that this is the uh, Peterbilt that took number one place. 301 number is the number on the truck. 302. 302, yeah. That's the number on the truck. And I was told that that is the actual winner of, uh, of this contest, I guess, from yesterday. So uh, that's cool. Look at that black Peterbilt car. Yeah. No, actually, we want to go in here. Let's go look at some more in here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be looking at a Mack truck over here, a decked out Mack. I've never seen a Mack like this. I can guarantee you that. Look at that. We got us a dog right there on the on the mirror and everything. Man, that's a that's a beautiful color. I like this color. Yes, sir, e Bob, I do. Look at them big wheel caps that they got on there. <laughs> yeah, look at that. They look like they have gotten some trophies too, eh? Or is that not trophies? No, a lot of these sponsored cars. 
Oh, those are just sponsors? Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, it says sponsored by, and then it... Uh, yeah, maybe it says something on the other side. Yeah, maybe. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look on the other side and see what that Third actually place. looks like. Huh? Third place. Third place? Okay. Third place of what year? Does it say? Does it say what year? I don't know. Doesn't really say, eh? 27th anniversary. So that must have been... 2016. 2000, oh yeah, 2016. Wow, so they were at third place in 2016, eh? Wow. Can we uh, look on the inside? I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. I'll go check some more other trucks out. All right, guys, I got to show you this. This is a funny one. Have you ever seen a duck on a truck? A duck on a truck. <laughs> yeah, some cool details, right? Yeah. What do you say? Huh? Yeah. The white color actually doesn't look too bad I on this. Rudy. Hey, not too much. How about you? Good. Yeah? How do you know me? YouTube. YouTube? You subscribe me. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, nice. You want to have some cards to hand out? Sure, thank you. Yeah? Well, nice to meet you. What was your name? Cody. Cody? Hey, is Hello. this dad? Brandon Day, yep. Nice yeah, to meet you. nice. Nice to see you guys out here. Kind of surprised that some of my subscribers are <laughs> meeting up with me out here, you know? I've seen one yesterday already and it's supposed to be a few out here today. So, nice meeting you guys. Okay, I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Monday, yeah. I was kind of hoping you'd be here. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Awesome. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah. yeah, you guys have a good day, eh? See ya. There you go. We're getting recognized out here. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, eh? Well, you are. You are and yeah. Me, and not so much. But yeah. I, that, that's well, your Well, that's channel. probably because you're wearing the glasses and all, yeah. all that. I'm going to look handsome. <laughs> yeah, you got to look good because there might be some women out there that might be looking for them. <laughs> no, not the case. So, what do you say about this flatbed up here? I don't know. I like, I like the blue. I like the blue. You like the blue? Yeah. I think it's a nice color for for the flatbed. Like eh? It fits in with the truck. It fits in with the truck. Yeah, yes, blue, it is. Blue, actually, right. does. Yeah. I I like it too. I really do. Iowa. Permitted in Iowa. Nice. Very very nice. <clears throat> yeah that fits in perfectly with that uh, with that white color truck up there that's yeah. for sure next thing we're gonna look at is a canward ladies and gentlemen let's look at this beautiful beautiful canward i love it with that uh what do they call these dealer i don't know yeah? i know one guy mentioned a goose <laughs> uh, well, uh, i forget what the what the name for that is but it looks absolutely beautiful on uh on a truck like that it's a 2015 okay very nice 550 horsepower 18 speed yes very very nice i like that color with them stripes i think that looks good what do you think yeah it looks good yeah, yeah. i, 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 don't, like I didn't think one, that they made yeah. these type of uh kenworths in uh in today's age but it says it's a 2015 yeah man there are so many nice trucks out here it's hard to the de to decide eh look at this this truck has got a trophy we gotta we gotta get that truck on here we're gonna start at the front and then uh, we'll go walk around all the way and uh, show you guys what we see yeah if this guy's got some trophies it's got to be good right well, what else could it be than a Peterbilt, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Let's take a look at this Peterbilt. It's, did you see that up there? Army on the top there, Diego. You see that right there on the top there? Oh, it says yeah, Army. Army up there. They got the Army, Army logo on the bottom there as well. They got the Hawk over here. Wow. Yeah, they got the Army right on there. So they want people's choice and yeah choice? Oh, hero risen honor Corey and American here, here rests an honored glory and American soldier something yeah something 
Yes, and this is the trophies that uh, I was talking about. What kind of trophies do we have out here today? We got some nice flowers for first place. First place. Work interior o OEM sleeper. Oh, okay. So, so that's what he got the actual trophy for. Yeah. Not for oh, the look, look, he's got some stuff in the back here. Yeah, too. they got some stuff in the back here as well. So let's have a close look up on this uh, trophy that these guys have gotten. Now that I think they do deserve it. I really do. I think that they uh, deserve first place because it is a very, very, very nice truck. Definitely. I don't know about you guys, but we have noticed that on this show there is more Peterbilts than anything else. But uh, hey, they are absolutely gorgeous. That is a fact. I wouldn't want a truck with a small cab like that, but uh, hey, they are absolutely beautiful to look at when you see them out here on the, on the show. And this is definitely a truck that is going to be on the road that you're going to be seeing on the road because you can see the fulfill is all used. Yeah. Wow. You see that? Now that's actual customization. Yeah, and definitely. The keys for King. Yeah. I think it's KW, isn't it? I don't know. Maybe. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just maybe his initials for the truck. Kings of Kings. Kings of Kings. Oh, okay, that's why. That's why he's got it on the back of the uh, the cab there. I'm hoping the sun is not going to blind you guys too much. But he's got it right up there. Yes, indeed. A beautiful, beautiful truck. Man, there's so much to see out here. <laughs> All right, guys. I know we have probably already shown this truck a little bit because we were inside there the other day and uh, we probably did show it already but now it's out here on the show and i figured why not get it on the, on video again and show it to you guys in 4k i'm actually recording in 4k today because it's nice beautiful sunny out here and i just decided you know what let's record this in 4k and uh, upload it in 4k quality that's better than 1080p uh, quality for some of you, you might not be able to watch it because you don't have the actual equipment to be watching it. But uh, I decided, you know what, for those of you that are actually interested in watching it in 4K, it might be a very good idea to record it in 4K. And that way, for those of you that like really good quality, would be able to watch it in really good quality. Yes, and this is a Canwork. This is an old classic Canwork. Just wanted to show you guys the top there a little bit. Let you see what he's got in the window. This, this, this guy won 2013, 2015. He won in 2013 and 2015. At Great Lakes 15. Truck Show. Okay, let's have a look at that again. So those are some great titles to have, don't you think? All right, guys, Werner has made it out here as well with a KW. And let's see if we can... Uh, show you the paint job that they have done on this truck i think it's really nice support those who have served in the service so that's what they're standing behind on and uh, it definitely shows on the paint job that they have done on it i know it uh, costs a lot of money to get paint jobs like these done or wraps or whatever but it's nice of Werner to actually be doing this and supporting the troops and uh, our service, whoever has served in the service, you know. It's definitely nice to see. All right, guys, that's how I look another Peterbilt on a low rider. Yes, this is definitely a low rider. Look at the windows, how small they are. Wow. He's got cutouts over there for lights, but he doesn't have any lights in there. Too bad. It would have looked a lot nicer if he had actual lights in there, but he does have his doors open and stuff like that, so we are able to uh, look inside. So that's how I'll look inside and see what kind of goodies we get in here. Wow, look at that shift, shifter. That is awesome, man. That's a beautiful, beautiful interior. I'm going to see if I can go walk around on the other side and uh, show you the driver's seat. But man, wouldn't you love to ride in one of these? With the nice seats like that you got speakers right here wow that is a very customized truck
truck I can tell you that much this is what it looks like from the rear and it says the hustler yes he's definitely a hustler it looks like <laughs> yeah we're gonna try and get around to the other side and uh, show you guys from the other side what it looks like because I think it's worth it showing you guys from the other side on the interior I think that's gonna give you guys a good view from this truck look at that they got speakers on this side as well now you can see this side let's open up this door did you see that handle look at that handle I've never seen a door handle like that before <laughs> now this is what it looks like in a driver's seat nice leather interior look at them pedals right there clutch paddle brake paddle speed paddle and all that look at them clocks the way he's got it set up wow that's amazing eh looks gorgeous yeah just kind of close look at the steps yeah that's definitely close it yeah because the wind's gonna yeah we don't want the close. wind to slam it slam it shut so let's move on but we got to show you this this is absolutely cool look at them even the even the uh, brake drums have been paint painted orange now guys this is another angle of a uh, beautiful Kenworth Oops, sorry. yeah that's all right no big deal yeah this is another classic Kenworth man I I couldn't imagine in the old days having to sleep in these cabs like these climbing the way they gotta climb in in these trucks but this guy's got a bunk heater in here you can tell by by this pipe right here you can tell by that it's got a bunk heater in it oh yeah yeah look at these these customizations that they have done to these trucks Kenworth. wow yes it is a Kenworth yeah an old classic Kenworth I love it the way they got the Sloan stretched out you know yeah yeah that is uh, a couple of trucks that's, have that. that's for the hookups for for yeah. lines and stuff yeah. but I'm sure he's got okay yeah he might have that just set up just for the actual show and look at the uh, trailer and everything he's done a fantastic matchup on the trailer and everything you see that the cab is black and then the rails and everything is red that is a beautiful beautiful matchup I think for for trailer and tractor and then look at all them chicken lights he's got up here all the way on the bottom alongside and all the way on top of there that must look absolutely gorgeous at night would you say yeah yeah I think so too even fenders right here like stainless steel fenders in front of the rear axle oh yeah that would definitely look really really good wow all right guys we have never seen a Ford like this this is a Ford 9000 series it looks like I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to show this to you guys properly it says air ride cab so that must be a newer style style Ford but I've never seen a Ford before <laughs> yeah what did you say Diego what did it say on there uh, 1991 CLT Ford that uh, Detroit series 500 horsepower motor on it yeah. it's a six-speed alloy Allison yeah Allison transmission rear suspension Rear suspension from 2005 freight liner from 4 to 11 gears jack brakes super single slash truck and trailer 2030 dry van utility trailer with alum aluminum floor okay nice now here's another peterbilt that has got a very nice color to it i like the blue with the white stri uh, stripes like that and it's got like a dump tripe uh, dump trailer on it so we're going to have a take a look at it and i think we're pretty much done with cruising along outside here and uh, looking at everything i think we got pretty much just about everything that we thought that's really interesting you know there's probably some more trucks that we haven't shown yet but uh there's so many trucks out here it's kind of hard to show every single truck and uh, not every single truck is uh not the same standard you know so not the same not as beautiful as some others you know so uh, i think we're gonna go back inside and see what else we're gonna be able to find inside right yeah now if you guys think people are not hungry think again let's take a look yes people are very hungry in this place this is 
really packed out here. Now, if you are a shy guy to be recording in public, you probably don't want to show up over here. Right, Diego? What? If you're a shy guy, you probably don't want to show up here and try and videotape. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not be a good idea, that's for sure. All right, guys, it is time to take a little bit of a break, and we are outside, right? Yeah. What we're looking at? I don't know. It's something at you. Huh? <laughs> we're looking at you. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're looking at a beautiful wa uh, water fountain up here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I forgot the name of it there. Yeah. Sometimes I forget names too. But yeah, I bet some of you guys will probably like this. Yeah, check that out. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a bit windy out here today and a little bit on the cool side, but that's all right, right? Yeah. yeah, we're just having a good time. I hope you guys have enjoyed a lot of these trucks that we have shown you today. So uh, I think we're almost ready to go back, eh? What do you yeah. say? I think we might go out there on the other one there and then go back, eh? All right, uh, it is in the evening already. We have had us a very busy day where you ran into another subscriber of ours. That was awesome. Yep, we only met for a few minutes, but uh, hey, we definitely uh, got to say hi to them and uh, I already had the camera rolling, so uh, why not, you know? I love running into uh, subscribers of mine. It's awesome, you know, when you can see uh, subscribers of mine and uh yeah so we figure well you know what we're going to close off the show here i'm going to say a few words and uh that will conclude our truck show yeah pretty much what do you think there son i'm ready to go to bed you're ready to go to bed yeah i am to too sleep. it got pretty windy here this afternoon yeah the truck was just rocking like crazy. It was unbelievable. Like I don't know how many miles an hour the wind was, but uh, happy we weren't driving. Yeah, we were very happy that we didn't have to be driving today. Oops. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I think today was probably one of the uh, best videos that we have recorded from the whole show I think and as the saying goes the best is for the last right that's what I've heard yeah but uh, yeah I hope you have enjoyed all three days worth of video footage that I have been able to provide to you guys and uh, we have met some awesome people over here we got to meet a whole bunch of famous people whole bunch of people up here I mean we met a whole bunch of vendors and stuff like that that we talked to and we have given out business cards and all that it has been a blast having this party over here you know pretty much having musicians over here we had a, uh, a magician where how do you pronounce that magician uh, hypno hypnotic uh, hypnotic person yeah uh, like he hypnotized some people yes hypnotized well, he didn't really hypnotize them he just like got them in a state where it sort of seems like they're hypnotized i guess you could say so well i asked the one guy that was hypnotized and he said yeah sure it was working on him so i don't know if it actually did or not but uh i think we're going to upload that video and you can say for yourself or whatever uh, unfortunately my uh, video camera's memory card our memory was just full just a couple of minutes before the show ended so we didn't get the very very last part but for the most part we got everything and we'll probably upload that later on and yeah I don't know which um, what particular day we'll be releasing those I'm sort of thinking what I'm gonna do is uh, we had Brad James yesterday night and the night before we had uh, what was their name again uh, the group name was Savannah Rose. Savannah Rose, yes. That's right. And so uh, we're probably going to just have that as a bonus video or something like that. Maybe release it at night. Well, maybe by the time you watch this video, you might have already seen that anyways. But, uh, yeah, what I'm thinking about doing is on Thursday night she was on. 
So what I'm going to do is the Thursday show will be uploaded for 2 a.m. as usual. And then maybe at, I don't know, it's a 6, 7 o'clock in the evening. I might just release uh, the music video because, you know, it's a week ago. And that's pretty much exactly the time that happened when the show happened over here. And uh, so, yeah, so that's kind of what we might be doing. Tomorrow is cleanup time, as you guys can probably tell. It's a mess in here. But I said I don't really care. I'm enjoying the, all the goodies out here. We've seen a ton of stuff. And I wish I had have had a little bit more money, but I could have gotten some good deals on seats over here. I'll remember that for next year. I had no clue that they actually did that kind of stuff out here. I, I mean, this is the first time I've ever gone to a truck show. I had no idea what exactly to expect. I mean, I, I knew there was going to be a ton of stuff here, but I didn't know exactly what. I had no idea what to expect. It just, everybody kept saying, oh yeah, there's so much stuff. It takes you three days to see everything, and which is true. I mean, it took us three yeah, days. Yeah, it took, it took us a full three days to pretty much see everything. I mean, you could have probably done it in two days if you're a good active person and you run around all the time. And but, can you like stuff your stomach before you leave? I mean, yeah, yeah, that, that's, that, yeah that makes you hungry walking around. Yeah, we get hungry, and plus, on top of it, you know, I'm a truck driver, I sit for a living pretty much. I sit all day long, every single day, you know, when I'm on the road, and so I don't do a lot of walking. I mean, I already brought my better shoes that got better uh, insoles and whatever on it in order to. Uh, Keep your feet comfortable. Keep my feet comfortable, but it still, it was not enough. Yeah. I mean, my legs, my knees, uh, my feet, everything was hurting. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my muscles are moving so much trying to uh, walk around so much. I mean, yesterday was the worst day. Today was not too bad, no, but today, yesterday... Today was pretty good. The first day, it was okay at the beginning. But once it was over, our feet were hurting and everything. And then the next day... We didn't even go for like barely half the day there because it was still a little aching from the day before that and today we were all good so yeah today was pretty good so uh yeah it's a blast i am definitely going to try and get here again next year uh, hopefully he can make it here next year again it would be even nicer if my wife could make it here as well hopefully we can arrange that but hey we got a phone call you want to check with us We'll be right back. Anyways, we got interrupted there a little bit. Yeah. But anyways, that's just about all we got pretty much for today. We're going to start cleaning up a little bit here tomorrow morning. We still have to take the barbecue apart yeah. and uh, clean everything up. Well, we haven't had much time today. I mean, you've been putting no. videos, videos together until now. I mean, you didn't even come off the laptop until now because... You were just busy on there with videos so yeah editing all the videos that takes a long time and today we did actually record the show in 4k quality so it should come out a really nice detailed color and all that so uh yeah so we are done with the truck show yeah like i was saying hopefully my wife can also make it next year that would be very very nice if she could make it here next year as well and uh, hey maybe we'll see a jerry ott out here next year i kind of was hoping i would see more youtubers out here but i haven't really seen any anyone else than uh little guy uh, little guy uh, trucker uh, and little dog and, little dog and, and so mr uh sinister mr no sinister uh, sinister i yeah. um, i don't know why that's so hard for me to say but yeah, that, that's the only YouTubers that we have seen out here, really. I mean, I heard through a Facebook friend of mine that Ellie Knight was out here, too. But I haven't seen her anywhere. I, I have no idea. I mean, we walked... I could have seen her, but I don't know what she looks like. I don't even know her. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I have not seen her at all. Not one little bit. I have no idea where she's hiding, but... I mean, I've seen all the other people. I mean, uh, if there was somebody that I knew... I've seen all of them, but haven't seen her. But I didn't see Ron Hart get paid over here. He said last year that he was going to be here, and he even said a couple of months ago he was going to be here. 
never seen him so i don't know whatever it is uh, we had a good time so with that being said we'll catch you again back here on this channel tomorrow morning and we'll be hitting the road here so uh, stay tuned for that and we'll see you then have a good one everybody we'll catch you tomorrow it's behind the scenes behind the scenes Hey guys, you are now tuned in to the Little Guy Trucker Show. Yeah, I'm just say the Little Guy Show. Not little Guy about Show. Okay. Alright, one more time. Ready? Hey guys, you are now tuned in to the Little Guy Show. Perfect! We all behind the scenes. That's right, guys. We're live in the booth. That's right, guys. <laughs> behind me that day is gonna come